Right, I know, right. The whole thing just went through. Yes. That's awesome. Hey, Dad, wait. None of us here have broken any laws of the Charter since this pandemic started. Civil disobedience has been committed by one side and one side only, and that is our government. Our gatherings are the most joyful, lawful, peaceful things I have seen in 10 years in this country. And like I said before, the truck convoy and these rallies have made me proud to be Canadian for the first time in a very long time. ago in the U.S., a handful of farmers, ranchers, and miners who had traveled halfway across the world for freedom had that freedom threatened. Now they decided to stand up to what was then the largest military in the world. Only 3% of them fought and won their freedom. We never have needed a majority, folks. We never have and never will. We need a righteous, energized minority. And we have that. How many of you know people in your circles that are finally waking up? Many of us do. This is, this is an inflection point, and we have to hold the line. A third of us were never fooled, a third of us will never be unfooled, but the middle third is our target, because they are the precious asset in this battle. Four action points, and I'm out of here. We continue, number one, we continue to lovingly speak the truth. The time for silence is over. Number two, we continue to obey the Charter of Rights and Freedoms because it is our government, not the politicians. No, we are our government. We. Number three, we can challenge bylaws peacefully and lawfully in court. They are not the law, they are an attempt to stop the law. Be open to challenge peacefully. Number four, last point, we educate ourselves so that we can educate those around us. Our knowledge is our weapon in this fight. We have to use this so that we don't have to use this.
Ingram is your friend. Have you seen Bert? No. Bye. Bye. Bye.